Now, in an investi or an investigation was done, let's use light blue, to determine the effects of a plant hormone on plant growth. Now, people, you know that for plant growth, it is always auxins. Auxins are a group of little plant hormones that cause plants to grow. Okay, the procedure was as follows. We have two pot plants, one and two, of the same species, so that talks to validity and age. So I'm going to put a V here. So, the, so it increases the validity or validity of the experiment. The apical buds, which is your growing tip, of both plants were cut at the same length, validity, along the stem. The cut surface of plant one was sealed with petroleum jelly. The cut apical bud of part two was placed on a block of agar jelly for two hours. Now, you must remember agar jelly is a, um, it's a gel substance that allows substances to diffuse in and out of it, okay? So, for two hours. The block of agar jelly was then placed on the surface of plant two. So, you cut the end of plant two, you put the block, that apical bud goes onto the agar jelly, and then you put the agar jelly back onto plant two. So what do you think is going to happen? Because what happened in that agar jelly? All the auxins from this little apical bud go dee -bee -dee -bee -dee -bee -dee -bee -dee into the block of agar jelly. So when you put that agar jelly back onto the surface of plant two, you're going to get all your little auxins that were in the bud now back into plant two. Okay, the plants were exposed to the same environment, again validity, conditions for two weeks. The growth of both plants observed at, at the end of the period. So this is after two weeks, this is what they look like. We got pot plant one, there's your petroleum jelly over the top, and because it had no apical bud, therefore there was no apical Dominance. An apical dominance is the fact that a plant, the auxins at the tip of the growing, the growing tip, the apical bud, causes a plant to grow upwards towards the light. Okay, when that apical bud is cut off, the plant doesn't have, it, it can't grow up because there are no hormones telling it to. Okay, so what does it do? It grows lateral branches, and here you can see. Here it's got its little lateral branches growing from the sides. Okay, because you've cut this. This is how they make hedges. When you cut the tops of the hedge all the time, you get those hedge plants and you cut the tops of the hedge plants, the sides grow nice and thick. So here your block of agar jelly. And what was in this agar jelly? We had our auxins because they had diffused into the agar jelly. And what happens? Just look here. It grew longer. Okay, why? Because the auxins in the block of agar jelly tricked the plant into thinking it still had an apical bud. Okay, so instead of having an apical bud, it now has a block of agar jelly with all the hormones that it needed and it grew upwards. And you'll see here, here are no lateral branches. Why? Because of apical dominance. It dominates to grow up. Only when that tip is off will it start to grow sideways. Okay, where are our questions? It says, state why the apical bud was placed on a block of agar jelly for two hours. Hmm. Okay, um, it would be so that the auxins, or if you don't know that they were auxins, you could actually just say plant hormones, so that the auxins from the apical bud could diffuse into the agar jelly. Okay, so that, that's why you did it. And then when you took that block of agar jelly and you stuck it on top of the cut stem, 
it grew upwards. Okay, then, describe the results obtained in plant one. Okay, now remember plant one, you had your little tip, you had your vaseline here, and it grew lateral branches. So, when the apical bud was cut, okay, you've cut it off, okay, there was no more apical dominance. And the plant stopped growing upwards. Um, but rather developed lateral buds. Okay. Remember, that's how hedges are made. Put all these hedge plants, keep cutting the top, so it grows more and more lateral branches and the sides become thicker and thicker. Okay, then, explain how fruit farmers can use this knowledge from the results in question two. Okay, so that's when the apical bud is cut and they have lateral branches. So explain how fruit farmers now remember, what do fruit farmers do? They want as many fruit as they can have, okay? And they want to be able to pick them because fruit is, is hand-picked. It's not picked with machines. Um, all fruit is hand-picked. So you want the fruit, you want your, your workers to be able to reach the fruit, number one. And number two, if we go back to our experiment, if you look here, if this was a, 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 a fruit tree, you'd have lots and lots of lateral branches developing because you've cut the top off, which means that all of these branches are now going to have fruit. Whereas if apical dominance remains and this plant just grows straight up and there are no lateral branches, um, you're going to, first of all, produce less fruit and it's going to be very hard to get to the top of the plant or the tree to now reach the fruit. So, I mean, this is an easy question because it's just common sense. So you'll say lateral branches develop develop or you can say more lateral, lateral branches develop um, that will all carry or instead of carry, you can say yield fruit. So more fruit and it will be easier to pick. Okay, but your, your marks would have been here, lateral branches develop so they carry more fruit. Okay, um, or you could have said lateral branches develop and the fruit will be easier to pick because it's going to be closer instead of having this long stem growing all the way up. Then it says, explain why the stem in pot plant two grew upwards. Okay, well that's easy um, because the auxins or plant hormones in the agar jelly uh, block diffused or moved diffused um, downwards into the stem and caused cell elongation and growth upwards. Okay, there you go.